Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Mage Hand Ledgerman is actually very overpowered in Baldur's Gate 3. I know the Arcane Trickster subclass in Baldur's Gate seems to get a bunch of hate. I think primarily because the Mage Hand Ledgerman does not function as it does in regular Dungeons and Dragons. So most people think this Thief and an Assassin subclass are better options. But I still think the Arcane Trickster is one of the most powerful and most useful rogue subclasses. You can almost always guarantee your sneak attack, which at low levels adds an extra 2d6 damage and only gets better. And you can use this class to cause general mayhem and steal just about anything you want without suffering any consequences. A video I've made on using the Arcane Trickster to steal anything and everything you want is linked above and in the description below. So for those of you who don't know, in D&D, you can use the Mage Hand Ledgerman as a direct extension of your rogue. It can pickpocket, disarm traps, unlock and open doors, and so on. In Baldur's Gate 3, it can mostly just attack and move small objects. But there is one thing you can use it for which is incredibly overpowered. Your Mage Hand can give you advantage on your attacks, which means you can sneak attack for all that bonus damage. To gain sneak attack, you need to have advantage against your target. You get this when they have not noticed you, are otherwise incapacitated, or, and this is when the Mage Hand comes in, your target has another enemy within 5 feet of them. The secret to this is the fact your Mage Hand is invisible, and can be moved independently of initiative, as long as you don't attack, but it still counts as an enemy of the target. You can, of course, use other party members or familiars in range to give your rogue advantage, but oftentimes you will struggle to get someone close to your target for each of your rogue's turns. So as you can see, I currently only have my sneak attack option on this character here. However, I do not have the ability to use sneak attack on this character up here, Olak. All I have to do on my turn is select my mage hand and move it next to my target, and now my sneak attack will work. The only caveat is, if an enemy is using C invisibility, they may be able to detect and attack your mage hand, or it may end up in the turn order, not next to you, which will make doing this trick a little harder. But even in that case, having your mage hand is just another chance to get advantage. And the nice thing since patch 1 is your mage hand ledgerman will not go away until you dismiss it or it is killed. And you can recast after every short or long rest. One thing I also did, I chose high half elf as my race. So I was able to choose a cantrip from level one, which I chose mage hand. This means I can actually cast it twice per rest, though I can only have one summoned at a time. Anyway, thanks for watching and please feel free to leave a comment below or like and subscribe if you found this helpful.